Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan. I'm out here at Kingland in Lexington, Kentucky, talking about running to win. Stay right here. So glad you're with me. I was thinking about how the Kentucky Derby ran in Louisville just a couple of weeks ago, and I was reading up on some of the jockeys and, and their stories of how they won. And one jockey said, you know, I can't make a lousy horse win, but I can take a good horse and make him really great. And I like that because the Lord started speaking to my heart and he said, now I can't take a lousy believer and get him to believe, but if I can get one that's ready to trust me, we can do something. <laughs> and I thought, that's so true. But when I was reading about those jockeys and how they are so specialized in the track, they know the way the water runs off the track. They get to know their horse so well. They know its personality. They know the gift that it has and how it's really activates the speed of that horse. Now this one jockey was saying his horse likes to lay back in this one race he said there were three front runners and they just let them just fight it out for that top position and he knew he could get his horse to surge at the very end and he just you know gave it a gave it a nudge and they went right up to the first place now how did he know that he got to know the horse now the horse has to be sensitive to that jockey and really trust so they had this relationship on how to win I like in the Word of God in in first Corinthians and chapter 9 it says that you know all runners in the race they're they're all running but only one gets the prize we should run our race to win so you know the Lord's talking to my heart saying Amy if you listen to the Holy Spirit just like a jockey would guide a horse you'll you'll run this race and you will win the jockeys went on to say that how that when you get to know the horse, some of them need to take a while to pass that you have to bring them around the right and give them enough time to get into that front runner position. Other horses like to go fast and pass along the left. But once you get their confidence and, and you know their personality, you can get the best out of them. They're saying they know the conditions of the track and, and how the weather affects it. They know how horses run the best. They know the placement on the track with the, the, the least mud, how the water's not going to be right there, and they'll run their horse right there. And again, the Lord's saying, Amy, if you would listen to the Holy Spirit, He won't matter the condition of the track, what you've been through in your life. If you think, man, no one's ever believed in me. I've had a really hard race to run. No one's ever guided me. I haven't had any instruction. I feel a little lost in that call. The Lord's speaking over me. You wouldn't have to stay in that lost state, but he would begin to speak to you. He knows the conditions of the track you're on, that race he's given you. He knows how to use your gift in order to get you up to the front so that you can win. You're going to run this race to win. My son Lake, he loves to run cross country and he loves the tracks. He loves the courses that he's already been on, that he already knows. I asked him this one time we were driving and, and he was excited about this race. I said, man, you're happy about this one. He said, yeah, I, I know this one. He said, once I round that corner, you feel like you're just about to die. You're about to give up throwing the towel. He said, but I can just make it around that top hill and around that tree. He said, the finish line is just around the corner just around that next hill. I thought, wow, that's so true. If you have someone that knows the course, knows the conditions of the race on the inside of you, helping you to run to win. If we'll listen to the Holy Spirit, He'll guide our actions. He'll activate those gifts inside of us. He'll give us that surge, that nudge, right when He knows that we'll be used the best at the right time, at the right place to win this race. Thanks for joining me today. We love hearing what God is doing in your life, all of your likes, your love, especially those shares. If this has encouraged you, it'll hopefully encourage your friends as well. If you're on YouTube, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're on Facebook, like this page because each week we're going to bring you a brand new video.